Welcome back and today I'm with Delmont. I'm checking out the SFW Rigel. Did you that is correct. Yeah, and it's a mech carrier, as you can see. Huh. Let's just turn ourselves over. You can see these mechs. Oh, are we dock undocking? Oh, okay. Excellent. This one actually has an interior too. Oh, brilliant. We're going to have to check that out. And this is built as part of a mini game you're developing. That is correct. It is a planetary assault uh, mini game, kind of the equivalent of Planet Side, but in uh, Star Made. Excellent. So the idea is that each side gets to uh, use a carrier to deploy some mechs onto the field, yeah? Yes, that's correct. And there's also uh, aerial fighters and a troop dropship as well. Excellent. Make use of the uh, new hand weapons that we were so kindly provided. So where do we go in? Where's the door? Uh, there's a little door on the side of the uh, kind of frontal area of the cabin. Ah, uh, yes. Here we are. I love the carrier, it's brilliant. Right, where is it? Can I use gravity here? Oh, whoops. There should should do. There should oh, be a... Uh, I can't find it. Maybe, maybe not. So I right, use spacebar. That's okay. Woo, spacebar. Oh no! The ship! What happened? I'm bailing out. Your ship is moving. Oh, we're good. We pressed C. Alright. I pressed spacebar. Oh no. Oh no. Is that not gravity up there? No, it's not. Uh, no. It's just a computer block. Although, admittedly, gravity would probably be a better thing to put there. Hmm. Well, anyway. So here's the cockpit. Hanging lights. So we've got a proper, proper little cabin here for the pilot. And computers. Uh, decorative panels in use. Uh, plenty of glass. And back, we've got storage at the back. And there's uh, turret points below. Four, is that the turret points? Uh, it's only got the one turret point underneath. Oh, they're enhanced. Yep, it's deliberately designed to be underpowered. I like this turret here. It's a cool design. So, where's my ship gone? Over here. Ah, there it is. Right. Okay, so that's the uh, drone carrier class. So uh, let's move on to the next ship from the mini game. And that would be this one over here is the the SFW Peregrine, and it is a uh, fighter designed exclusively for the atmosphere. Nice. So what makes it atmospheric? What features? Dumbfire missiles and there's pretty much no other wise place to use them. Yeah. Also the rules of the game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So are there rules to the game then? Do you want to discuss? <clears throat> Yes, uh, kind of off the bat, uh, essentially you can't leave the gravity of the planet uh, unless you're in a fighter, and then only within a certain distance that's yet to be determined. So the idea is basically to keep people on the planet uh, so we don't have people jumping around and flying around to things that should otherwise be on the ground. Right. No flying tanks or anything like that. There's a tank as well, which we'll get to in a minute. Cool. Uh, and you'll notice that the turret is the same on this as it is on the Rigel as well. They And it's the exact same turret that's on the tank. So the turrets are standardized across all units. Exactly, which prevents uh, things from getting hilariously overpowered. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Excellent. I'm loving the turret design, by the way. It's great. So we've got a nice, compact little sort of bomber, I guess. 
bomber fighter. Excellent. Surprising amount of damage on those missiles as well. We'll have to do something do little, to fear if you're driving the tank. <laughs> we'll have to find a planet and just do a little demo run at some point. So, uh, what's what's next in the lineup then? Uh, that would be the troop dropship. So, uh, we're actually going to use players as well, not just vehicles. Yep. I have to dig it out of here. Let's see here. I've flipped turret. Ah, indeed. Ah, there it is. Oh, we're getting lucky today. No modified blueprints. Now this one you'll notice doesn't have a turret, and uh, that one's by design. It's basically, you need something to protect, right? Yeah. So this is also, used uh, by astronauts to land on the planet. That is correct. Could you open up those doors? Yep, can do. Let's have a look inside here. <clears throat> it's looking good. Nice. So what are these all weapons computers for people to get into? Ah, oh, be beautiful. Exactly. <laughs> so it's functional. And then of course you have your store. Yes, you have your storages as well for distribution of weapons and ammo and that sort of thing. Oh, it's beautiful. Let's have a little run around the front here. So we've got the front. Bottom side and run down here. Got the drop hatch at the back. It's beautiful. I love the tail as well. It's very inspiring. Oh, and a little radio radar thingy. Radio antenna. Need some form of communication with your troops? I suppose this would be used for evac as well. Get in, get out, get done. Excellent. So uh, what's the next class then? Is it the tank we've been waiting for? That is correct. I'm going to have to dig this one out. So we've got our tank. What's it called? The SFW Hover Abrams. Uh, hover, it... hover, hover Abrams. That is correct. And oh. it actually is a very successful design. It looks a little silly but it will function on the planet just fast enough to move and just slow enough to feel right. Oh, wow. We'll have to do a little 1v1 to test them out. That looks like fun. All right, show me the insides. Where are we? Oh, it's, it's, uh, it's got a really... It's got a micro interior. I like it. <laughs> Just enough to get in when when you're on the planet. And standardized turrets are a really cool thing. So you've only got, what, five blocks there? Four blocks on each. Yes, that is correct. And you could actually do it with uh, fewer. But the idea is that there will be a rocket turret as well on uh, some of the upcoming designs. And that will be uh, kind of an essential feature. Sup suppose that... Uh, there might be an additional cost, for example, to having rockets as opposed to antimatter cannons. Right. I think it's a good idea just to focus on the one weapon and then figure out adding other stuff, you know. That's the idea. But you've got a great little concept here. So each team gets how many tanks? That is completely up for debate. I'm I basically think waiting on enough people I think to... it should be dependent on how many players are on each team. <clears throat> so you right, get right. one you get one each basically and then you have to use something else stops people from just spamming lots of tanks <laughs> also very true the same goes with the dropship and stuff gives you an incentive to protect it and also uh next thing in the lineup here that's uh not it's quite done downwards yet. as well for me now once you go into uh the cockpit uh and then back out you have to essentially change your view that's a known bug at this point with pretty much everything Oh, right, I've just right. done that and it's still shooting downwards. That's really odd. Put a cockpit Whoops. on it. <laughs> oh, this is pretty good. 800 damage of volley from the uh, Mark II Mini Hailstorm. There it is. So let's find a planet and uh, get busy. 
They can't have this experimental oh, doomsday whoa. weapon. Whoa! Like the mini hailstorm shots rips through the Isanth shields. Yeah. Yeah. I seen that. I've made it. Try and leave leave a little bit for uh, leave a little bit for this guy. I'm gonna retreat back to the uh, orbital weapon. Oh dear. He looks like he's taking it pretty hard. I'm just gonna follow the. As lenses. you can see. Oh wow. Yeah, this. As you can see, it hits pretty much everything but the core. <laughs> Let's see if we can get the core. Oh, where'd it go? Oh, it's dead. Oh, it's dead. It's dead. Loot, loot. <laughs> That's kind of the point of the orbital weapon. Hits everything but in a straight line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excellent. I like it. And it looks neat. It looks really neat. All right. Well, <laughs> um, who's going to be in command of the orbital weapon is the question. Oh, Me? I know. You can give it a test. Right. Where's the gravity well? Start. Eric found it. Okay. I'm on the planet. Here we are checking out. Is God mode enabled? Mushroom planet. Yeah, God mode is enabled. So you can't, you won't kill me. So it's all good. But I just want to see what it would look like. Cause here we are. We're observing the uh, landscape. And uh, feel free to do a. Uh, could you do a test in front of me first, so I can see? Yes, I can. I'll do selective fire first. Ooh, a little further away from me. Hang on, there's a ridge in the way. Fine. Yeah. I think to what well, for me would be the north. Right, hang on. I've marked the uh, the I've, I've marked the target with an ice crystal. Open fire. <sighs> All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Focused fire. Oh, now do unfocused. Oh. Okay, right. Um, now, let me show you the special ability. Special. You ready for this? Yeah, okay. Where is it? Oh my gosh. I'm going to just run about in that and see what it looks like. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh. Purpose built. This is nice. That's uh, something for the kill streak, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> wow. Potentially. Uh, definitely something to be run by the uh, uh, a higher powers. Yeah. What? It's a doomsday weapon. Oh no! Mini hailstorm bombardment. Yeah, it is. It's like it's, it's the successor. Oh god. Oh no. Oh, no. no. It's a nightmare. See that hole I took out in the middle from when I shot? Whoa. That's from my tiny little ship. Alright, before I get any more dizzy. <laughs> Look at what you've done. Also, a jetpack item would be quite cool. I know we have cores, but, you know. Was that me or you who shot through the middle? As in, right through the middle? Don't know. A little bit column A, a little middle, bit column B. But that's a massive hole. This is a uh, quite an insane change. The uh, landscape is somewhat. Oh, it looks different down here. Wow. Yeah, down here. Up there, at, it looks a little flatter. At, at ground level, you've made like. Wow. Okay, so yeah, that's going to work out quite nicely. It's a bit of an area denial weapon as well. Yeah, you're not going to want to mini hailstorm there. punch through the planet. Yeah, I saw that. That's quite cool. Huh. There's like a hole going all the way down. Huh. 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 When you head back up, you should check out the interior of the Doomsday weapon. It's got all the accommodations one might expect, um, including think, an observation deck. I think I'm out of course. Have you got a weapons computer on that uh, hailstorm? I'm gonna come yeah, in. None that I you can get to. Gravity. Indy. 